Hi, I'm Joseph. And I'm Holly. Welcome to the drama edition of Pierce TV. This episode highlights the dramatic readings from Patrick Doherty's drama class. These readings come from SLAM, the Pierce College Student Literary Arts Magazine. SLAM is available for free on any Pierce College campus. Um, my name is Nicole Ortiz and I'll be performing Indecision by Cassandra Bell. Go. Now, leave. I will feel nothing. One more. Goodbye, kiss. I, <laughs> I don't need your love. It doesn't hurt. Almost something I still feel nothing. I can still taste the kiss. I am kind of want your love. I'm pretty sure it doesn't hurt. Why'd I say leave? Licking my lips, I swallow the kiss. A lump in my throat, I choke on the love, sticking on the way down. I hurt. Bittersweet is the taste you leave. It's gone now, and inside me is nothing. I, I saw you today, love, with her. It hurt. I hurried to leave, opposing nothing. I want your touch, your lips, your kiss. I can't hurt now. I had to leave. Now I need nothing. Lips too cold to kiss. With death, we do part, my love. Kiss, love, hurt, leave, nothing. The Writer's Mind by Kevin Gray, performed by Joyce Moore. The Writer's Mind is a daring cavern filled with dreams, horrors, and skeletons from past, having meaning only for the writer. Half a million words at his disposal, combinations as plenty as the sands of the Sahara. His limitations are only his own. A little psychosis helps. Some salutary stimulants can help with that. A gentle diversion to release the constraints of creativity. London, Poe, Hemingway, Faulkner, but John Cheever said it best. There is a terrible sameness in the euphoria of alcohol and the euphoria of a metaphor. Hello, my name is Antonio Robinson. I'll be performing Autumn Days Travel By by Ruth Apicadine. Autumn days travel by. Homebound birds dark the sky. The leaves turn gold. Yellow, brown, bright and bold. And winter creeps its fingers near. Inside the well-known warmth of fire, a blaze that never tires. Let the outside wind just blow. Perhaps the rain will turn to snow. And winter, as we know, is never feared. My name is Shar Farrar. My poem is 30 by Garrett Evans. She's pushing 30. I see her taking the stairs, two at a time, except on Fridays. On Fridays, she's got her kid. A mop of yellow curls and shuffling feet. He's three. I watch him, taking the stairs step by step, his mother, patient and sentient, watching those Velcro shoes and waiting for the day when he's pushing 30, and he watches her, taking the stairs as slowly as she has to to accommodate for bunions and aching veins. He lets him lean on her. He is patient and sentient when she needs him. Hello, I'm Lupi Sanchez, and today I will be performing Young, by Garrett Evans. I am young, but there are things I miss. In the whispering darkness, the folds of my sheets falling around you like waves. But I know my arms will find nothing, will be left wanting. I am young, but I miss you. 
We made promises stretched thin and taut as I tried to catch your attention from across a continent the way I did from across a room. My name is Christy Hoffman and I will be doing Just Like a Country Song by Tracy Navario. Crying in my last bud light, trying to hide the black eye I got last night. But just like a country song, my honey done me wrong. It broke my heart when he went away, though I begged and begged for him to stay. Drowning my sorrows in a brew, crying my eyes out over you. I waited for you. You said you were too busy. Drinking a few beers left me feeling dizzy. I found my way to the bar. I knew you wouldn't be too far. A sing-song tune fell across the room. I could, I could smell a whiff of her perfume. Hips shaking and grinding, your hands all over her is what I'm finding. Lipstick stain marks on your shirt. I, I slam another beer while I watch you flirt. But just like a country song, my honey done me wrong. I unbutton my shirt, decide it's time for me to flirt. Hips shaking to a sing-song tune, I dance the night away under the open moon. A pair of hands touch against my bare hips. I welcome a newfound stranger's kiss. I catch you staring. Your heart must be tearing. I bet you never thought you'd catch me cheating. Looks like I got you defeating. But just like a country song, I did my honey wrong. Hi, my name is Christina Hine, and I'll be doing books by Christine Billings. I was eight years old when I first discovered you. I disappeared in your pages and explored a new world. During a troubled, uncertain childhood, I found comfort in the mists of loneliness. When I was bored, you entertained me. You comforted me while I mourned. In you, I found laughter and joy. Through the years, you brought rich, new flavor into my life. I learned the histories of different societies. I explored the mysteries of science. You allowed me to live in the shoes of others, to see life through their eyes. Through the years, I traveled the world, the far reaches of the galaxy with you. Sometimes, you're surrounded by the must of time, others by the sharp scent of newness. Each aroma brings memories of marvel. Always, when I see you, I wonder what new mysteries your cover brings. My name is Rendella Washington, and I'll be reciting the poem, The Bigger Picture. Almost 20 years. Something was missing. The huge puzzle, and I'm the signature floating around a pretty sculpture. But where was the sculptor? You're watching Pierce TV, a production of the Digital Design Program at Pierce College. You're watching the drama edition of Pierce TV. These readings come from SLAM, the Pierce College Student Literary Arts Magazine. SLAM is available for free on any Pierce College campus. Hi, my name is Sarah Losi, and my poem is Poetry is Like Love by Brooklyn Smith. Poetry is like love, grabbed by emotions you don't know how to express, editing and revising your confessions until they're perfect. You dare not speak your testimony of passion under the stars or the cold sweat that dampens the wrists when you think of the endeavors at dusk in the apple orchards. What if you didn't say it right? Eventually, though, eyes look beyond the words of a page, ears hear beyond the voice that you speak with the mind, and a mind that was built to understand yours perfectly will. Now it's about the story you're telling, the story you've helped someone write with your words. That connection is like poetry. Hello, my name is Joyce Van, and I will be doing a, f a poem from The Success of My Best Friend, written by Chris Reed. My best friend and I, as close as peas could be. But I found out how much I hate him 
for what he takes from me. I love, I care. I work to spark the passion in her eyes. And a smile is all he needs to give, to take it all away. Hi, I'm Georgina Tyler, and I will be performing a poem by Garrett Evans, Aerosol by Thanks. We take turns drinking the air from a nozzle, a sort of chemical Russian roulette with no losers. And we roll about on astroturf and hold the feeling for as long as we can. And it is a mistake. And it feels good. And it all happens slow. As if time is hesitating. <sighs> as it watches. Appalled. My name is Alana Gordon and I will be performing I Play Again For You Donegal by Ariana Coleman. I sit on the damp sand. My legs stretch out to where the blue kisses my toes with each gentle wave. I open the heavy black case. Her body shines in the evening light. The breeze flutters through my hair, so I tug my scarf tight to shield my face. As the wind bites my cheeks, I pick her up and place my fingers along her strings. The wind whispers through her. I begin to play. From long, long ago, the ocean remembers my song. My tune catches on the wind and disappears on the bay. As copper paints the complexion of the sky, tonight, lost in my music, I play slow. The mountainside sweeps down by the ocean to where wild roses grow, to touch the water where they bow. Heaven has blessed this place, my song and the empty shore. O oh, Donegal, call me home. This simple song of mine is yours. My name is Jacqueline Edwards, and I'll be doing Walter Hill's Crush. The thought of you is just delight and love, and yet I yearn to know your thought of me. <sighs> Such beauty, my sweet dove, but I will learn it slowly, I can see. And so I sit today, pen in hand, composing three new quatrains with a rhyme. <sighs> the words flow like Cupid at my command. The rhyme, the form, consumes my time. I've tried to think this through many a time. One forward push past three I tread, undone till I tell you my thoughts, my chime. The effort's huge, I have to shake my head. But I persist, my courage yet undone. And now I yield, my thoughts of you have won. The earth yawns, a bishop tulips, in the alley shade, young and unafraid. The roots veins and cracks between concrete grays and hooker greens. The yellow cup of yellow, or love, of the brushing touch of butterflies' legs or wings. A green neck snaps in the alley shade. A yellow laugh flutters down in the concrete halls. Spring came after all in the alley shade. I'm Kelsey Villanueva, and I will be performing Iambic Pentameter by Nicole Ortiz. Iambic Pentameter is the definition of poetry. 
or at least what I thought it to be. And history shows us that poems must always rhyme, and a sonnet solely conveys the everlasting emotion of one's true love. And don't even get me started on a haiku. Syllables themselves leave me in a haze. But in the end, you'll be quite amazed. Leave it to the French or the English, whoever, to create such a beautiful measure of verses, lyrics, and meaning into a single page, or maybe even a few. Perhaps Shakespeare said it best. Though this be madness, yet there is method in it. Hello, my name is Gabrielle Cleveland, and today I'll be presenting I Can't Think of Anything by Desmond Burnett. I am hungry and tired. I should just skip class and go get something to eat, then go to sleep. What do I have? What can I get with five dollars? And that's good. I want something good like Mexican or dang. I should just go to class because whenever I don't, I'm all behind and that's it. I feel like a dumbass. But there's that teriyaki joint and it just opened and it's literally like five minutes up the street. It's nothing. But I'll still be late. Then as a teacher, she's a prick to anyone that walks in late. What can I grab real quick? I'll just go get some chips or Neutrogena shits or something from out of the cafeteria. I don't know, but class is about to start. Damn, I still gotta write that poem. You're watching Pierce TV, a production of the Digital Design Program at Pierce College. You're watching the drama edition of Pierce TV featuring Patrick Doherty's class performing dramatic readings from Pierce College's Student Literary Arts Magazine. My name is Aram Khamenei, and I'll be performing Garden of Sorrow. This time, at dusk, is when I think of her most. She was that place between lover and friend. Never more than I needed, certainly not less. She was the warmth of a summer's day, bright, as beaming field of white poppies, laugh as gentle as a streamlet bubbling over smooth rocks. Sorrow is my own yard. The grass is unkempt and blackened. The streamlet has dried to a dusty plain of despair. Clouds, which has never before shown their faces, shed the blissful clash of purple, blue, and pink sky, and I am left with memories. I'd rather forget. Hi, my name is Marquis Davis, and I'll be performing Life by Sharon A. McBride. Tarot, an intuitive future-telling art, offers mystery and hope to life. I use a deck, medieval in design, but born of a computer and edged in guilt. I deal from two decks, one for myself and one for the others I read to, each the same beautiful motif, yet each with different energy. It helps me to ride the waves of life when I help others through these decks. Truth, beauty, love are revealed with every turn of the cards. Five years ago, I came up short and played the cards I was dealt. My husband stumbled, worn down by life. He took a gun and held it to his chest while sitting on the deck. I stayed an hour late at work as he sat wounded. My guilt hounds me to this day. I thought his wounds and mine would be healed through the secrets I read. Chest pains, broken hearts, silk linings, all red. A faux leather box from Egypt embossed with Isis held my cards. I loved him, I hated him, and went mad with conflicting energies. I needed love. I wanted certainty. I had to find the answers to this life. Then I met a teacher who walked a similar path, but was free from guilt. She offered me a way to see this world 
through a tarot deck. Hi, my name is Cherie Walker, and I'll be performing Sit and Stay by Adria Spiker. If people were like dogs, nobody would think to conceal their feelings. When upset, they would wear it like a badge. Reading, caution. Currently being audited or danger. Recently informed us to the existence of super volcanoes, it would be a matter of instinct to avoid the violently angry, comfort the lonely, and smile at cheerful passersby on walks, which everyone would take. And given a sudden tendency to arcane our sensibilities, no one would keep secrets except the hidden location of particular choice bones. And biting would be considered an effective form of conflict resolution. With the noses of dogs, our business will automatically become everyone's business. After a busy weekend, we would reek for days of beer, of cigarettes, bad behavior, and worst intentions. Possessed of a dog's loyalty, I'll bring you sticks like precious stones. Roll over and always come home. Hi, my name is Tang Nguyen. I'm performing Warning of Garrett events. Caution, the sign says, a warning of the pollution in a great pool of sick. Ducks bob, they tell skyward, like islands, in a vast sea of contaminated green. I close my eyes and flare my nostrils. Let the sand linger over the plastic surface, irritate my sense. And the foul because they tell strong, like an elderly couple in the supermarket. They splash and wriggle in the muck, oblivious to the condom stuck on their wings. The chewing gum stuck on their feathers, the chemical eating their lungs. They are trapped by a chain link fence of pine needles and uneven cement. You're watching Pierce TV, a production of the Digital Design Program at Pierce College. You're watching the drama edition of Pierce TV. These readings come from SLAM, the Pierce College Student Literary Arts Magazine. SLAM is available for free on any Pierce College campus. Hi, my name is Tara Tapp and I'm doing Love in the Past Tense by Adriel Spiker. Rain slithers down the window's pane and slides into the moldering crevice between wood and glass. I stand where you stood and place my lips on the cold, sticky lips you left, red as blood, red as the dress you flung to the floor the night we became lovers. I knew for certain that we would be lovers when you floated into nonfiction, your gates all slide and sensuality. You sank to the floor between shelves of Wordsworth and Whitman, lifting books like glass sculptures, precious and fragile. My blood sang to see you press each to your mouth, lingering on pages as though they possessed mouths themselves. I envied the paper lovers whose very syllables set you leaping to impulsive beats. But I know now that time slides for you. On Wednesday, you whispered shimmering spun glass madness for Emily, and last night, Charles gave you a go on the floor, but this day, I took your pale hand and drew you from the floor and placed my lips on your icy forehead. My mouth imparting warm scant to skin as clear and as cool as glass on a winter's evening. I sang you songs of lovers in blue sky days when the sun slides along the sky, kissing clouds until it greets the horizon in blood. I'm Sean Hogan. I'll be performing a piece by Gary Shea called TV. Out of the couch that swallowed me, after I find a place to put my bowl, I think whatever gods may be that I've found my remote control. In the fell clutch of mindless trance, Sheldon jokes of a megalonic cloud. It makes as much sense to me as a cash advance, yet I find myself laughing out loud. Beyond the future waste of years, it seems like forever fifth grade. After everything has disappeared, I'll realize it's been a whole decade. 
I really should lose some weight, but I have one last crescent roll. Rent's late, because I slept late, right beside my remote control. My name is Sarah Clifton, and I will be performing The Deconstruction of Oneself Through Literary Means by Preston Van Sanden. An article written in the paper about suicide in more depression words. Cutting out stories about mothers. Mothers dying on Mother's Day. Pouring yourself on paper, creating what you hope someone, anyone will call art. Questioning if anything at all is worth the effort and growing angry at the thought of such a platitude. Writing a poem sometimes seems like turning lead into gold. A lot of work, worthless tactics, with no gain. Relying too much on asking questions, aspirations, beer, coffee, denying, and hope. Looking to others for guidance, known to be farce, maybe to get lucky, or just to see something different. Reading a book on poetry, reading others' methods, trying, 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 with no success. Five pages, five stanzas, five lines, five words, five letters just to be deleted, hated, or forgotten. Looking into the mirror, describing yourself the way a drunken novelist might. She sits, slightly hunched, with a pale and distant look into the void that is her life. Or what about the way a drunken poet might? The single soldier sits slightly staring, trying to get bearing on her sliding life. Or what about the way a drunken non-poet, non-novelist might? She's pissed. She hates what she's done, fears what she will do, and doesn't have a clue what she ought to. The page is open, the writing appears. Again and again, over and over, day in and day out. Like a never-ending boxing match, keep the arms up, taking hit after hit. But no matter how hard the hits come, or how many are taken, the ink pours, the words flow. Sometimes they mingle together. Others reject each other completely. And still the deconstruction continues while the construction begins. The poet, drunk or not, the novelist, drunk or not, the non-poet, non-novelist, drunk or not drunk, will witness pens run dry, beers go flat, and aspirations fade. And the goal will seem like a carrot dangling from a stick just out of reach. Luckily, there's always another blank page to turn to. Thanks for watching the drama edition of Pierce TV. If you want to catch this episode again, it will be available on the web at www.pcd.edu slash pubs slash Pierce TV.